Hey guys, Seth with Cyclismo Coffee Roasters here, and this is a brew review and how to for the Bee House. So, today I'm going to show you how to make a Bee House coffee. The Bee House is a great pour over coffee maker if you're first getting into pour overs. Uh, it's really simple to use, it doesn't require you to be a perfect pourer or for a lot of the variables that come into play on brewers such as a Chemex, uh, it doesn't allow those things to affect your cup. So very simple brewer, easy to use, uh, and we love it. So to make a Bee House coffee, you'll obviously need the Bee House brewer. You'll need a carafe or another mug to let the coffee drip into as you're brewing. You'll need a Melita number four filter a mug obviously to decant your coffee into 21 grams of freshly ground coffee or about three rough tablespoons a scale and a timer so let's go ahead and get started first we're gonna prep our brewer and we'll do that by taking our filter here and we're gonna fold these seamed edges just like that. Then put the filter into the brewer. And we want to rinse the filter with our water that's just off of a boil. That'll get a lot of the papery flavors out and clean up your cup. Really important here to saturate this filter really well. Get all those papery flavors out. And by doing this, we're actually preheating our bee house as well as our carafe. So we'll just let that drain out there. And you'll want to discard this water, but you can actually just pour it into your mug and preheat your mug while you're making your coffee. So we're going to turn on our scale and make sure that it's zeroed out. So we're going to add our coffee here and again this is about three tablespoons or 21 grams of coffee. So we want this about a medium, medium fine grind um, and that'll help get our best extraction from the bee house. Just pour our coffee in zero out our scale one more time and start our timer. This first pour is really just to saturate these coffee grounds usually about 60 grams. And we'll go ahead and let the coffee bloom here. If you want to you can choose to stir at this point and that'll make sure that everything's really good and saturated. But once the coffee is pretty much degassed, we can go ahead and make our full pour. For this pour, we're going to go up to about 380 grams or just about to the top of the brewer. And I typically like to have this first pour, this primary pour done within about a minute of starting my brew. And there's about 380 and we're right at a minute. At this point you can step back, start your day, make some breakfast and enjoy it while you get these great smells of coffee. So we're coming up on about three minutes and once you reach three minutes, um, even if there's a little bit of water still left in your bee house, it's pretty much time to go ahead and pull the coffee. You can always set this on another mug if you have one handy, but I just like to discard it all together there. 
Don't forget to pour out the water from your warm mug. Give your coffee a little swirl. And then pour. That's how you make a bee house coffee. Enjoy.